My name is Dr. Era Tata and I'm a consultant neuropsychiatrist and a life wellness coach. I'm here to destigmatize mental health and I'm always on an endeavor to talk about topics which you find relatable. So today I'm talking about five stages of life where seeking therapy or professional mental health is a good idea. Now first of all, there is always a good time to seek mental health. It's just that we stigmatize it so much that most of us keep wondering that when should I go to see somebody? Should I really do I really need it? When? So these questions are something that I get asked quite often. And when I ask people that what took you so long to come here, most of them sadly say that either they weren't aware that such a thing even existed, something like mental health or mental health for that matter. So it's important that you understand that yes, mental health help is needed at certain stages of life a lot more than the other. Now, I'm not saying that everybody should just get up and start going for therapy, but why not, first of all? However, these are certain stages of life where you will find therapy very useful. Number one, adolescence or the teenage. Now, the first place where I find therapy extremely therapeutic, so to speak, is adolescence. Yes, did you know that more and more adolescents are facing mental health issues? In fact, between the age of 13 and 19, mental health is right now one of the biggest causes of worry and concern when it comes to health. Suicide is on an all-time high. And we need to be more careful about this generation because they are the future generation. They will lead this country after all. So, what are the things which bother adolescents typically? It could be issues related to studies. It could be issues related to relationships. Most people have their first relationship in this period of time. It could be issues related to not getting along with maybe your parents, not getting along maybe with your siblings, not getting along perhaps with your friends even. There's a lot of peer pressure. There's experimentation with sexual activities. There's experimentation with even drugs for that matter. So adolescence is a great time, not only to fixate on career, but also on your personal life, right? The idea is balance and therapy helps you enlighten understand and problem solve about all these issues that adolescents may bring with it. Number two, your college days. That is especially when you're migrating from home to college campus. Ah, those college days. I remember them very fondly. In fact, college is one of my favorite time. College brings with it a mix back. So there are new experiences. Some of us move to different cities. Some of us move into a hostel for the first time. And we literally feel the pinch when our parents aren't there constantly to hover around or to even guide us. College is an excellent time to start therapy, at least to understand some of the unresolved problems that you've had far when you were younger in your teenage days. It's also a great time to be prepared for what's in store for the future. So there's no time like a good time for therapy. I say every time is a good time for therapy and college days to adjust into the college life may be just the right time when you start therapy. Number three, before you get married. Yes, not only before, even after you get married is a good time with your partner perhaps for couple therapy. However, before you get married and settle down and choose that life partner and say I do, I think it's a good idea to just run by and start therapy and understand that what is in store for you in the married life. Now I'm in no way endorsing that, you know, you need to sit down and have a stranger decide for you that whether you should marry this person or not. That's not the purpose of therapy. We do not force you to make choices. We help you to make choices. So if you're conflicted about a potential partner, if you're conflicted about how you will adjust into this new role, it's a great idea to sit down in therapy, life coaching, or even go to your friendly psychiatrist and find out that what is this anxiety got in store for you. Number four, write about when you're about to become a parent. I wish somebody told me that I should take therapy before having a baby. Yes, there's so many things which need to be understood about the changing mind, the changing body. Now, luckily I had the changing mind part under control since I am a psychiatrist. However, you can never always take charge of your own minds, right? That's why I also say that psychiatrists should go to therapy. In fact, in the West, there's such a popular culture of every therapist having their own therapist. And why not? Every psychologist, every therapist, every psychiatrist should have somebody that they neutrally can go to and find a safe space in. There's no shame in that, absolutely. So coming back to the baby part, having a baby is so challenging and it's so exciting and it's so enduring. However, there are tough times and I think having therapy at that time is 
extremely useful because you can get a lot of your energies channelized into where it belongs and not in unnecessary negative ruminations. And number five, your first job, whenever that may be, because there's no right age for your first job. Some people start super early, whereas me as a doctor, I started quite late. Obviously, it takes about 10, 12 years to just finish studying. But a first job has its own hardships. Irrespective of how old you are, you are scared for your first job. Uh, job interviews scare a lot of us. In fact, facing people directly, I think, scares most of us. So preparing yourself for a job interview, preparing yourself for the transition into the real life, preparing yourself into the real adulthood of a first job and the responsibility that comes with it. Again, there can be conflicts in the workplace with maybe your uh, peers. There could be problems in you being assertive enough. There could be a problem in your anger management. There could be a problem in you not being able to say no to people. All of these are great to pick up in therapy as well. All right, so that was a lot about uh, when you can seek therapy. Of course, you can seek therapy anytime. There's always a good time for therapy. However, these are five milestones or five, I would say, important stages of life where I believe that a lot of us need help. So if you're looking for help, please reach out to somebody who you connect with. Therapy is very individualistic. Everybody has a different taste. Every therapist is different. Every therapist style is different. Every psychiatrist is different. Every doctor's approach is different. So I do wish you all the best in finding the right mental help for you.